I learned this in Texas. We need to add a little bit of milk because we're gonna need a liquid in here. Yeah, that's perfect. Milk also. You won't taste the vanilla because it'll be countered by all the other flavors. And you're just using really just a splash. Dijon mustard, because we're gonna need some seasoning. Yep, more than you think. Take your salt and you're just gonna be generous. Great, that's perfect. Bacon bits. I use a whole container. Make sure you grab this because you cannot eat it. Take our back pepper. I like to put this on the cheese. <coughs> that looks great. <coughs> a little bit of gar <coughs> garlic. Ooh, that strong pepper. I just like to shake it on. <coughs> Ooh. We did salt already. We have a little bit of parsley we're gonna add specifically to the meat. We're gonna take our shredded cheese. I'm just gonna pour it kind of all over the top. Yep, whole bag, just like that. Spread it out. And now you're gonna say, are we gonna mix this? Of course we're gonna mix this up. So first of all, I like to use my hands. They're freshly washed, so there's no worries there. I'm just gonna mix. So I like to do it this way, because I can get this meat crushed up real nice. And I can also get a feel on how much liquid is in here. <coughs> I am gonna need more liquid. Okay, so this is good. I can see how mixed up we are. It also helps me get, you know, I get the sour cream everywhere, right? It's getting the sour cream everywhere. I can take this cream cheese and I can break it up into bits. So we're, we're not gonna fully get all of this stuff mixed in, but it really helps me mix it up just a bit. So this is honestly, my most favorite way to make a mac and cheese. I think it has everything somebody could possibly want in it. The Dijon mustard gives it great flavor. You know, we're adding sour cream and cream cheese and Velveeta and cheddar cheese and, and it's just so good. So I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna break it up into pieces. When we leave it whole, it just has a harder time melting and we just want this Velveeta cheese to get all around. Yes, and remember, I washed my hands. Some people are gonna say, girl, that's so nasty. I mean, I guess if you think it's nasty, you're allowed to think that, but I scrubbed underneath my fingers with a brush. My hands are clean. I think that's the, the nicest, cleanest thing I can do. Okay, so now we're also gonna get this Velveeta mixed in. Yum! So I like to make this for a big family get together. If it's a summer barbecue or Christmas, Thanksgiving, who doesn't love a hamburger helper-ish type? All right, I have my water, which is gonna serve as my other liquid. And with all these other cheeses in here, people are gonna say, is this just gonna be a watery meal? No, think of all the cheese in here. It's gonna make it into this delicious, deliciousness. So we're just gonna, again, make sure we got our water all mixed in. Yeah, because that's what's gonna cook our noodles. Brilliant. Cheese next. This just creates our top layer. So this is extra cheesy mac and cheese. And I promise you, I promise you, promise you, promise you, this is gonna be everyone's favorite. Now you can modify if you taste it and you don't love the Dijon mustard flavor, or you taste it and you're like, do you know what I really don't like is the hamburger in there or the bacon bits. You can take out whatever you don't like, okay? Okay. Look at that. That is ready to eat. Okay, so it is all ready. The real question will be, is the meat cooked? Are the noodles cooked? Let's get into it. Yum, this looks really good. Now if you have extra liquid, you don't want it, you can just simply drain that. Okay, let's get into it. <gasps> 
Look at how gushy that is. Are you kidding me? It's clearly melty. Yum. <gasps> Look at that. Cooked burger in there. Wow, that looks like some yummy mac and cheese. Look at, look at all the cheese on there. That's good. Yum. Look at this. Ooh, that's good looking. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so we probably need to put it back in the oven for a little bit.